Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a red dragon scale dice bag. And we're going to start that in just a moment. Here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we're going to make a red dragon scale dice bag. So you're going to need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need a pair of scissors, darning needle, and yarn. I got this ginormous, that's a word, ginormous, ball of yarn, Red Heart Comfort. It is... <coughs> A medium weight four ply and it is the color red for the red dragon ha, ha, ha. scale red dragon scale okay so let's get started so I always pull from the center which means of course that I get yarn vomit um, I know a lot of people wrap there, balls of yarn, but that yarn is like ginormous, so I'm not gonna be wrapping it. So, got it from the end. Do you see it? I don't see it. I found it! Okay. So, <clears throat> now that we've done that, so what we're gonna do is we're using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. We're going to cross our yarn, okay? Do you see how I did that? I don't start with a slip knot. I never have, and I'm not going to change now. I've been crocheting for 45 years, so <laughs> I'm not going to change it now. But um, I cross my yarn like this, yarn over, through, and that's a chain. We're going to chain two, okay? And what we're making is we're making the bottom of the bag, okay? So in that first chain we did we're gonna go in there we're gonna put our tail over our hook and we're gonna do six single crochets into that spot so to do a single crochet you go into the spot yarn through yarn over go through the two loops that's a single crochet so we want six total okay four five and Six. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch and we're going to chain up one. So that's the center of our circle for the bottom of our bag. Now we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch. So we'll end up with a total of 12. So two, three, oops. Four. Oh my goodness. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11 and 12. Now we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch and chain up one. Okay, so if we did this right, you see how our center there is kind of big? If we did it right, when we pull our tail, it cinches that right up. Okay, so now we're doing multiples of three. Okay, so every time I do this, uh, the first stitch has two stitches and then we do the rest of the multiple. So here's what I mean. So we're gonna do two stitches in the first stitch, one, two, and then one in the third stitch, or second stitch. So we get three. And then we're going four and five go in the same stitch, and then six is on its own. Seven and eight go in that first stitch. Nine, which is a multiple of three, is on its own. Ten, eleven in the first stitch, 
and 12, which is the multiple of three, is on its own. 13, 14 in the same stitch, 15, which is a multiple of three, on its own. You get what I'm doing here, right? 16, 17, 18 on its own, and then we slip stitch into that first stitch, chain up one. So our next round, we're doing multiples of four, <clears throat> okay? So we go two in the first stitch, so one, two, three is on its own, and four, which is the multiple of four, is on its own. Five and six go in that first stitch, seven is on its own, and eight is on its own. Do that around until you get to the other side. This round should have 24 stitches. Meet me back. I just did my 24th stitch. I'm going to slip stitch into that first stitch and chain up one. So now we're doing multiples of five. So in this row, we're going to end up with 30 stitches. Okay. So we're going to start by two in the first stitch. One two, three goes on its own, four goes on its own, and five goes on its own, which is the multiple of five. Then we're going to do six and seven in the same stitch, eight on its own, nine on its own, and ten on its own. Eleven and 12 into that first stitch, 13, 14, and 15, which is the multiple of five is on its own. <clears throat> Do this all the way around till you get to 30 stitches. I am at 30, I'm gonna slip stitch into that first stitch that we did, chain up one. So now we're going to do multiples of six, and this is our final round on this section. Okay, so we're going to do one and two in that first stitch. Three is on its own. Four is on its own. Five is on its own. And six is on its own. That's your first multiple of six. So the next one we're going to do two, which is seven and eight on the same stitch, nine on its own, 10 on its own, 11 on its own, and 12 on its own, which is the multiple of six. So you know you have to start the next one, right? Which is always two to start. Do this around until you have 36 stitches, meet me back. Okay, so I've done my 36. I go into that first stitch with the slip stitch, okay? I'm gonna cut a bit of a tail. Pull your tail through this loop and pull tight. Now, I want you to make another one of these, but once you're at your 36, do not cut the yarn. So make another one of these and meet me back. Okay, so I did my 36. I'm gonna slip stitch and chain up one, okay. Now, taking the piece that you just made, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start make, putting them together. Now, if you wanted to, you could hide these. I'm lazy. I hate hiding things. So, I'm just going to start. So, yeah, we're going to do half double crochets. So, we should have chained up two. Sorry, chain up two. Okay. So yarn over, we're going into half of the stitch. Do you see? So I'm just going into that back loop, but on the other one, I'm going through the whole thing. So see how it's the whole thing? And then this one is just the back one. Pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops. Okay, so let's do that again. Yarn over, go into the back loop, but on the other one, catch the whole stitch pull through and then go through all three loops, okay? One more time. Go into the back loop only. On the other one, you're going through the whole stitch, 
pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops and see what we're doing is we're attaching them, right? <coughs> now I want you to do that all the way around and tuck these threads in the center and we're just going to pretend they don't exist, okay? And you're not increasing, you're just stitching these together. So in the back loop only and on the other one you're going through the whole stitch pull through, go through all three loops. Again, yarn over in the back loop only and on the other one through the whole stitch. Pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops. Okay, all the way around, meet me back. Okay, I've gone all the way around with my half double crochet. I'm gonna slip stitch into that second chain of the chain two. I'm gonna chain up two. Now, this is what we've got. This is our base and you're going to feel that this is quite a solid base and the reason for that, I personally don't like it when I make a purse or a bag or anything like that where the bottom falls like goes cone shaped. I don't like that. So this is why I've done it like this. If you don't care then just don't make it double thick but I think it really, it makes the bag sit nicely. I really like it this way. Okay. So we're just going to continue for two more rounds with the half double crochet, okay? So just in every stitch. And this is just making the bottom part of our bag, okay? So for three rounds. So that one we just finished was the first of the three rounds of half double crochet, okay? So we're working on our second round. Now, the way I do it to prevent my stitches from going wonky is at my joins. So we just joined into the chain. For this round, I would join into the stitch. And next round, I would join into the chain. And I never count my chain as a stitch. So make sure you've got 36 stitches not counting the chain. So do two more rows for a total of three of half double crochet and meet me back. Okay, I'm on my 36 stitch and I'm going to slip stitch into the second chain of the chain two. Okay, now we're getting ready to start our dragon scales. So we are gonna chain up three. Now this is the base for the row of dragon scales. So we chain up three and in that same stitch, I want you to put a double crochet, okay? Then we're gonna chain two, one, two, skip two, one, two, and we're gonna do one double crochet. Then we're going to chain two, skip two, one, two, and we're putting two double crochets. Oh, sorry, I should show you what a double crochet is. Double crochet is yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops. That's a double crochet. Sorry, I worked graveyards last night and so I'm a bit tired. I should have showed you the double crochet. Chain two, skip two, one, two, and do a single double crochet. Chain two, skip two, one, two, and put two double crochets in here. One, two double crochets. Chain two, skip two, one, two, Put one double crochet there. Chain two, skip two, one, two, two double crochet. So are you seeing my pattern? My pattern is two double crochet in one stitch and then one double crochet in one stitch with chain twos in the middle. So we had two, skip two, one, skip two, two, skip two, one, skip two. You see what I'm doing? Do that around until the last three stitches and then we'll meet back. Okay, we're at the last three stitches, okay? So I'm gonna chain two, one, two, 
And I'm just gonna reach, even though there's three stitches, we're just gonna reach for the third chain of the chain three in the beginning, and we're gonna slip stitch into it. Okay, we're gonna chain three, and now we're gonna start our scales. So in this instance, the chain three counts as a stitch. So we want five, counting the chain three, double crochets along the post. So this would count as two along the post, three along the post, four, and then your fifth one, and that was all along the post. Chain one, turn your work, and now along that post going back up. Five double crochets. Whoops, sorry, my bad. One, and see how I kind of slid it over there? Two, Three, four, and five along the post. So see, this is what we have. We have our first dragon skip. So now we're gonna skip the single post and we're gonna go to the double. And we're just going to start again. We're going down the post with five double crochets. Two. Three. Four. Five. Chain one. Turn your work. Now we're going up the next post, okay? So we're going up this post. Five double crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Okay, so now we've got two dragon scales and you're going to do that all the way around okay so you're skipping the single post and you're going to the next double so do that all the way around meet me back okay so i just made my last dragon scale so here's what we're going to do we're going to catch the first dragon scale i made and go into the stitch of the single, the one double crochet from the row before. And we're gonna slip stitch through all that, okay? So what we did essentially is we anchored it to this one double crochet post. We're gonna chain up three. And now we're gonna get ready. We're gonna do the base for our next round of dragon scales. So into the same stitch, we're gonna do a double crochet. We're gonna chain two, one, two. We're gonna go into the space of this dragon scale and do a double crochet. We're gonna chain two. In the next section here, so we have this, where the, the dragon scales connect, and we have the back which was our foundation row for the dragon scale. We're gonna yarn over, catch the scales, go into that post, pull through, go through two loops, go through two loops to make a double crochet, and we're gonna put another one into that post. And what this does is it anchors down our dragon scales. Let me show you again, okay? So we're gonna chain two, one double crochet in the center of that scale, chain two, yarn over, catch your scales, go into that double crochet post, pull through, do a double crochet, 
and now put another one in the same spot again catching the the scales and everything we'll do it again chain two one double crochet in the center of that scale chain two yarn over catch your scales go into that double crochet see there we're going to pull through make a double crochet and do another double crochet in that same stitch okay chain two go in make a double crochet chain two two double crochets into this double crochet post from the previous row catching our scales so we anchor them down do this all the way around and then you're going to do just like we did before you're going to make the scales going up and down the posts okay so you're doing three rows of scales this already counts as one you got to do this foundation row to build your scales on so you're going to do that so you have three rows of scales okay do that meet me back okay so now i'm done my third row of scales i'm just going to anchor that last now i'm going to chain up two so we're done our three rows we've got our base our three rows of scales so now we're going to start doing the top so we are going to go back to half double crochet so yarn over now i know we just anchored this but you see how there's like the back chains and then this so we're going into the back chain and we're going to pick up two on the chain half double crochets so one two and then three goes in the middle of the scale four and five are on the chain six you're going to catch the scales and anchor them into that double crochet six then chain seven and eight in the chain oops eight in the chain nine is into that center of the scale ten and eleven are into that chain twelve we're going to catch the scales and go into that double crochet 12 13 is the chain 14 is that back chain and it's kind of difficult but you've got this 15 is in the center of that scale and we want to end up with 36 16 is a chain 17 is the chain 18 is catching the scales and going into that double crochet i lost count i think i'm on 18. 18 is the chain the main thing is that you end up with 36 okay chain chain there's always two chains in between um scales okay so then a scale then you go into chain chain catch those scales go into that double crochet to anchor all that and it's important that you anchor other patterns don't say to anchor but i do because we don't want those dice going through those holes we want this the holes to be as small as possible and even as it is if you have um, mini dice you're probably going to want to put them in an, another bag within the bag so that they don't go out these little holes um there's no holes in the bottom you're not worried about that but if you have a lot of dice and you're going up the sides here that's where there's possibility of going through a hole 
but I tried with my regular sized dice and I gave the bag quite a shake. And the only dice that went through the hole were my metal dice. And that's just because they're so heavy. And even that, I had to shake the heck out of my bag to get them to go through that. Now, everyone's tension is a bit different when you're crocheting. So your tension may be looser or it may be tighter. So you may not have that problem or you may have that problem. If you do have that problem, all I would suggest is just quickly sew up a piece of material and put it in the center as a lining. <clears throat> okay, so let's count stitches because I was talking and I lost track. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-five. One more. And that's right, because I'm anchoring. Okay, then into the chain second chain of the chain two. Now we're going to chain up three, and that's going to count as a double crochet, okay? So chain up three, and then you're going to chain one more. So a total of four. You're going to skip one and do a double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. And this is so that you can weave through your ties, okay? This is what this part is for. Do this all the way around. And meet me back so just chain one skip one go into the next do a double crochet and it'll look like this do that meet me back so I'm coming around and then I've got two there but I'm just gonna slip into that third chain not the fourth but the third chain okay even though I had two stitches, I'm just skipping that. I'm going to chain up two. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to do a half double crochet in the space, half double crochet into the stitch, half double crochet in the space, half double crochet in the stitch. We're doing this all the way around. We're doing two rows of half double crochet, okay? So into the space into the stitch into the space into the stitch you want to end up with 36 stitches you guys i am i have been crocheting for um 45 years and i still count my stitches all the time and that chain two does not count as a stitch count your stitches you want 36 stitches Two rows, double or half double crochet, meet me back. Okay, so I've done my two rows. I'm going to slip stitch into the stitch. Okay. And I'm pulling my tail through my loop, pull tight. You're going to want to hide that, but if you've done it right, that's the only thread you have to hide. Isn't that amazing? So there's the bag. Let's put that to the side and make the tie. Okay, so for the tie, you're gonna wanna chain 70, but you want double length. So I'm gonna pull this arms width three times and cut so that I can do double, okay? So you're gonna chain 70, seven zero. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 
69, 70. Okay, so three arm lengths was way too much. I would do like two arm lengths, especially if your arms are longer than mine and I'm just little, so they probably are. Pull your tail through your loop and we're gonna pull this super tight and we're gonna go back the other end and pull it super tight. Then I leave maybe a half inch on each side. You don't want to cut it closer because you don't want it to unravel. And then you just start weaving it in your bag, in and out. Of course, you're going to hide that thread. I'm just showing you. You're going to hide that thread before you use the bag, obviously, right? Keep going through, and then there you go. And there is your bag, even out the ties. And then pull it tight. And there is your new little dice bag. Isn't it the best? I love it. Your red dragon scale dice bag. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Um, I try and do a new video every Thursday. Sometimes I miss, but I do try to stay pretty consistent. Um, look in the description for links to things like my Etsy store, a link to this pattern, but I have not written out this pattern. I make up most of my patterns myself. So to sit down and to write them out actually takes quite a bit of time and it's something new I'm just starting. So I will eventually get uh, a pattern written and I'll put a link for it in the description. But in the meantime, in the description, it'll just say coming soon. <laughs> but if enough people comment that they want the pattern, I will get my bum in gear and get the pattern written out. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the like and subscribe and have a great day, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.